Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Through the Ages. Um, so I'll go back over one of my recent games using the replay feature. Um, so if we load in here, uh, we can take a look at the leaders and wonders. Um, so we have some pretty good AJ wonders, pyramids and Roman roads, particularly attractive. Um, some pretty decent leaders out already. We have Cleopatra, um, which can't be taken by either either of us at the moment um and then universitas is, is always good in in age one um i've been taking machu picchu a bit more recently um i think it's it's a pretty decent wonder i think um and then nostradamus is always one i like leo um if you can get him with alchemy uh it's, it's just so so powerful um and then yeah ocean liner is in the game so uh I tend to value irrigation a, a bit less whenever ocean liner is in the game um and then we have pierre and bill gates um and of course gandhi and international red cross is also one to um maybe value uh selective breeding a bit higher um so yeah the uh, first turn i take urban growth um i know i'm going to be able to get one of those wonders um and of course if my opponent takes sun Tzu, i can still get cleopatra if i want so i don't feel the need to take Al alex here um so urban growth seemed like uh, the best call i could get the lab up and running early still get a good wonder and, pr and a very good leader as well uh, either sun Tzu or cleopatra uh, so yeah that was the thinking behind that so he goes uh sun Tzu and yeah we um I, I go for roman roads so basically uh pyramids will fall off and they won't get access to it and i build the lab as well uh, i'm using the urban growth so getting the science up and running early um, i'll also get cleopatra um which kind of lessen the need to go for the lab or for the the mine um and i also get a rich land so that will help with building the mine as well so thinking here is the the uh three of the wonders are out early um so i decided to build two steps of this and depending on how the card row falls i should be able to pick up one of those if i want to on my next turn um, and that was the thinking behind doing the two ste steps of the um the wonder immediately and I'd also used Cleopatra. So here Code of Laws falls to one, but Monarchy is left on two. And there's also the option of for Forbidden City for an extra civil action if I, if I want to take that. I, I know they won't be able to take... Uh, well, they, they'll have to finish their wonder before they can take another one as well. So we get civil life, and yeah, I finish the wonder, take code of laws and frugality. Um, thinking here is leave Machu Picchu on two, um, and I'll definitely be able to get that because they'll have to spend two civil actions and then won't have the necessary civil actions to also take Machu Picchu. Um, unfortunately, I didn't draw a card to be able to see next turn. So I was a bit surprised they didn't just finish Acropolis, but yeah. If if they could have, I'm not sure actually. Well, they would have had two, so they probably couldn't have actually, because uh, they built this uh, this religion, which is unusual given with the AJ event. There's still one left. So yeah, that was. I took. I ended up taking Machu Picchu. Uh, this leaves Nostradamus on two. Um, so they finish the wonder, pop, and go for some strength. There's probably going to be some strength events in the in the deck. I go Nostradamus, finish Machu Picchu, and take knights. Um, given that, I think there is going to be potentially some pressure on strength. And yet, border conflict hits. They go with the lobs. And luckily, that was 
was uh, that was okay for me given Nostradamus's boost. I didn't feel like it was worth bidding much for that at this early stage. So it looks like they'll go Genghis, even they have the heavy cavalry ta tactic. I'm just trying to seed as much as I can here because of Nostradamus bonus. It's o it's often a dangerous, dangerous game if you're seeding um, events that maybe you would rather not see. Um, I go with the cultural heritage there because I know I'll get iron either way. Um, so just having the extra science I think will be more useful than taking iron now when I can get it for one in the next turn. And of course I have the rich land as well. Irrigation was the second irrigation was one of the last cards. Sadly, so we're both really struggling with military actions. Um, that was a very lucky, uh, good harvest event. Given I had a happiness problem, so I just build the um, religion. I take strategy. Um, because of the military action issue um, and then yeah iron I think iron is pretty key given I have Machu Picchu I am going to miss out on irrigation but I think out of the two uh, iron or irrigation uh, if I can only choose one with Machu Picchu I'm usually going to choose iron I was glad to see I get one at least one card I'll be able to see next turn yeah he goes Builds back up the strength. He's getting Genghis. It's plus three culture now. So that doesn't really change much. I go with the iron. And yeah, that's uh, a team sports needed now because of the happiness. I'd yeah, go for that take scientific method I'll be able to use that next turn and get science production up and running hopefully if they get iron up and they're still four and two which is quite limiting um, thankfully I have the extra um, civil action Raiders is not ideal but it's okay given my pretty high resource production and yeah I get one lab upgraded and I hope to get to the second one next turn. So I decided to uh, yeah I, I don't know maybe that was an overbid um, but I didn't really feel threatened militarily given the lack of military actions there. And I also have good resource production too to get my production back up and I have the, uh, a pretty good tactic and cannons already in hand. So that's okay. Yeah, Novell seemed like a good choice. And I get selective breeding as well, which is pretty good given I missed out on irrigation. But they definitely have the civil action advantage now, um, but still militarily not. Not the best. And they have a happiness issue as well. So I just finish upgrading my labs, take common and breakthrough. So I have 18 science now, so I'm in a pretty good spa uh, position from a science perspective. Culture wise, um, I am lagging a bit. Um, and they have op opera in hand as well, so that could be cause for concern. Freedom of movement, it's okay. They go with the fourth, um, fourth knight and take professional sports. They had pretty big happiness issues as well. So iconoclasm hits.
uh, I go to journalisms um, and me mechanized agriculture seem pretty good given international red crosses in the game and it's on the row now so they take Chaplin here uh, and go for opera real culture push their big issue is still the military options um, and yeah I, I figured uh, international red cross was probably good they have limited food production uh, so we'll they probably get one stage out of that was my thinking um, and yeah my science is very good now with uh, with journalism two journalism and two scientific methods So they're going they're really going all out with the culture they disband one of those to build another opera Mandela was uh, an expensive pick but um, I finish I, I figure they will build one stage of the International Red Cross next turn uh, upgrading my food uh, will allow me to build the other one and still be able to get pop out um, I'm looking at potentially um, potentially a war here given their lack of military actions um, and their low science so it kind of depends on if they go for or what they go for here because they ha they could take fundamentalism and military theory um, which would change things Again, I am behind in strength, but not really concerned, um, given the lack of military. Um, they actually disband a knight and build another opera, uh, but they leave themselves on four science, um, and rock production not the best, so they can't really defend a war here with three military actions. Um, so yeah, that, that democracy is, uh, I don't know, maybe a bit greedy, given they only had four science um, but it left them quite vulnerable and yeah I go for the, go for the war I have enough science to go for military theory and air forces finish the Red Cross and because I upgraded my farm last turn I still have enough I actually end up disbanding a farm and a mine uh, so I get the tactic twice and the Air Force bonus once that they just finish uh, Manhattan Project it's the easiest way for them to get their strength up so it is quite close here they're finishing 119 um, going into the last turn and I'm on 115 versus 108 after the war so I see the in, uh, impact of strength there um, I think it was on this turn so I wasn't really fussed with getting um, with winning this colony I figure if they bid for it, their strength it's just going to make it even harder for them to, to catch up and I just go for the, another team sports for the uh, bonus for Mandela and then another religion uh, which gets me another happy face and a culture and yeah re refugees as well I knew was in the deck so they're definitely uh, yeah they're kind of limited in what they can do on this turn so, so yeah it's uh, it's quite close here um, they, they see the culture um, there's my strength so we're five points in it it's still pretty close and yeah, they ended up winning agriculture. Um, they seeded that, I think, uh, and it would make sense why they built another farm at the end. I also wouldn't probably wouldn't have disbanded a farm if I had seeded that. Um, so yeah, three points in it. And the last one is progress. So my higher science eventually paid off, uh, and we managed to eke, eke out a win um, by eleven culture. So yeah, that was a pretty close game, um, not the highest scoring. We can look at the culture production here. Um, they were kind of consistently ahead, mainly Genghis' uh, bonus. I was keeping up enough with uh, Nostradamus and, and the seeding bonus there, but you can see the, the 
big difference whenever I put uh, put Nobel in. Um, and then obviously Iconoclasm hit and they got chopped in earlier. Um, but eventually I think uh, my overall science production really paid off in the end. Um, Nobel coming in obviously boosted it quite a bit and then also getting a scientific method up and running. Um, you could see the, the food as well, uh, so getting mechanized agriculture up uh, was, was very good for, for me and also getting the International Red Cross. Um, and then yeah, the resources, um, I kind of had an advantage, or sorry, here we are, uh, yeah, the uh, Machu Picchu really paying off, um, getting that up and running, and then iron as well. Uh, over the course of the game led to quite a decent advantage um, and yes the strength um, obviously the war um, you saw what happened with the war but yeah that that's everything for this game um, hopefully you enjoyed that let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or suggestions um, otherwise thanks for joining and hope you can join again next time